After hearing the news, they went to greet Raditz and then proceeded to eat, where time passed quickly for them. They observed Nappa with a blonde girl named Launch talking to Raditz and Bulma. Shinhan and Chaiwatsu were also present, having just arrived. Jinae suggested, we should go and say hello, don't you think? After drinking a glass of juice, Goku agreed, rubbing his belly as he said, yes, I think so. I ate like never before. Bardock, serious as usual, stood up first, followed by Jinae, Kefla, and Goku. They walked slowly toward the others, who were a few meters away. Midway, they saw Master Roshi entering with Krillin, Ulong, Yamcha, and Poor through the entrance. Yamcha exclaimed, Whoa, it seems the whole gang is here, upon seeing all the guests, noting only Vegeta and Chi-Chi were missing. Soon, Vegeta and Chi-Chi arrived and were warmly received by Bulma. After settling in their places, Bulma signaled a waiter who nodded and began bringing different drinks. Goku, noticing this, said, I hope they finish serving the drinks, and then stood up grabbing his glass to get everyone's attention. Goku announced, your attention, please, as he tapped the glass with a spoon. Vegeta grumpily asked, what do you want, Kakarado? Goku solemnly declared, friends, I want to share something crucial. Yamcha, adopting a nonchalant attitude, retorted, let it go once and for all. Goku continued, this may sound strange, but it's the truth. I come from the future. During one of my training sessions, my key spiraled out of control, opening a portal. I ended up on planet Vegeta a few years ago. Some were surprised, while others remained skeptical. Kefla supported his claim, stating, it's true. He appeared before Frieza destroyed planet Vegeta. Vegeta, irritated, demanded, and who the hell are you, brat? Kefla, with a twitch in her eye, retorted, who do you call a brat dwarf? Bardock intervened, Vegeta, shut up. She's Kefla, the fusion of Kalifla and Kale. Now, be silent and listen to what Kakarado has to say. Vegeta grumbled, a fusion of course, under his breath. Bulma encouraged Goku, saying, come on, Goku, it's evident you have more to share. Goku continued, you're right, Bulma. As I mentioned, I ended up on planet Vegeta when my parents sent me to Earth. He proceeded to recount his experiences, from his time on planet Vegeta to the tournament of power, leaving everyone speechless. The revelation of gods, other universes, and the tournament of power was a lot to take in. Master Roshi, breaking the silence, asked, and tell me, Goku, why have you decided to spend so little time with us? We've seen you grow and others have grown up with you. Goku responded, don't take it badly, Master Roshi, I made that decision to address some issues, comma, and I don't want to get involved in fights this time either. Raditz interjected, wait, Kakarado, how can you not get involved when you have the power of a god? Won't you help? Jine chimed in, Actually, your brother and Kefla are gods of destruction, earning surprise looks from everyone. She shrugged and added with a laugh, they must know. Krillin expressed concern, but Goku, you should participate in the fights, especially now. Goku insisted, listen, if Kefla and I fight, we'll easily win. You'll be left with the same embarrassing level you have now. Vegeta, angered by Goku's words, retorted, what do you say, insect? Let's see if you're a god or not. Nappa intervened. Calm down Vegeta. Did everyone hear what Kakarado said? He's right. We need to boost our power as much as we can. If he fight, we'll win all the battles. But come tournament time, we'd be burdens unable to eliminate anyone. Goku expressed gratitude, saying, Thank you, Nappa. At least you understood what I meant. Launch inquired, Hey, Goku, what would you do all these years? As Bulma added, True, Goku. What will you do if you don't fight? Goku explained with a smile. I'll help if everything goes wrong. But Kefla and I will train to increase our power. I have a lot to teach her. Tien said, it's the best approach. You focus on the tournament, and we'll prepare for what's to come. We must become much stronger. Jine lightened the mood, exclaiming, well, everything's clarified. This wasn't supposed to be a party. With a happy tone, turning serious faces into smiles, the party continued for several hours with discussions about the future dominating the conversations. Goku and Kefla left the tournament in their friends' hands. Some, like Chi-Chi, Krillin, and Yamcha, struggled to assimilate the new information. Gods among their friends? Other universes? The impending dangers for Earth? It was a lot to digest, but they chose to set it aside for the moment and enjoy the party. Dancing, drinking, and eating. As they sat down to rest despite the uncertainties, a sense of happiness prevailed. Chi-Chi grabbed everyone's attention, saying, attention, guys, and as the music volume decreased, she continued, 
All this we're experiencing among friends is beautiful. I wanted to take advantage of this moment to share something. She smiled, took a breath, and announced, I'm pregnant.